Okay guys, I've got a good one for you today. I have been thinking about white privilege and racism a lot lately and I want to talk about it and this is probably going to be very controversial, which is what everybody likes. So I've been listening to this podcast with Dan Harmon and Jessica Gow. She was like one of the co-writers on the Pickle Rick episode of Rick and Morty. And it's called Whiting Wongs. Which is like writing wrongs, even though it's not, I don't know, it, it's a pretty good podcast, but I find myself disagreeing with a lot of the things Jessica Gal says a lot, because she's saying like, there's not enough Asian representation and TV writing and showrunners that people that make TV shows and stuff like that. So I started thinking about like racism and like where it all comes from and like different levels of it, because... Um, white people have their own like I can see what black people think about white people because we think of other white people the same way because we have our own levels within white people of like even more privileged than normal white people like I am um, so like she was talking about all these TV shows need to have more Asians because if you have more even if the writing's not as good or they're not as talented actors or the, the story's not, like, people can't relate to Asian family life because it's kind of different than white people. So that's the lot I'm kind of stuck on. Like, you need to have all these people just forced into it because then it will become normalized and then everything will be equal. And once everything's equal, then you could have degrees of, like, which shows are just better because they're better. I'm like, that's not really how it works. Like, you have all these franchises, like, sitcoms used to be, like, mostly white. And then Norman Lear came along. He made, like, The Jeffersons and Sanford and Son, I think. And some of these kind of shows kind of broke a lot of barriers and, like, let black people kind of into the TV thing. But then there wasn't really a lot for Asians. Because she was talking about, um, who's that comedian? Uh, there's an Asian comedian... Margaret Cho made a TV show that didn't really do good. It kind of failed. So then everybody assumes, oh, well, people don't really like Asian shows. So it was like 20 years before they did like another Asian TV sitcom or something. Because, I mean, that's like you've got to also figure like a lot of people that watch TV are white. Black people don't watch like sitcoms as much as white people. Is that because there's not as many black people on sitcoms or Asian people are on sitcoms? Asians don't watch sitcoms. Because they're just going to be watching a bunch of white people. I don't know. Maybe white people are just better writers. There's some things certain races or certain types of people are just better at. And believing like stereotypes exist is not racist. Racist is like thinking another class of people is automatically bad because of things they can't choose. Or like hating them for no reason. Or like making separate rules. Like... They can have separate bathrooms and water fountains and burning crosses on their lawn. And what the hell was that even about? What does that mean? How does that... What are you saying to someone if you burn a cross on their lawn? I'm like, because the cross has to do with Christianity? And it's like, you're burning it? Are you saying you can't be a Christian if you're black? Like, the KKK? Like, what was their point with the whole burning crosses thing? I don't even get it. Um, but, like, black people are just better at certain things. They're more athletic. White people are just better at, like, mostly comedians, I think, are probably just, white people are just better, especially white men are better. And I was watching something the other day about, like, ah, what was it? These, this is a movie, but, like, yeah, I was watching this horror movie where some shit happens, like, uh, zombies or whatever take over, right? And the women are all, like, freaking out. And then these two guys, like, live next door, and they start talking about, well, we can get our truck, and well, that's going to have to get through this thick door, or we can bust through it maybe if we had, like, one of these things. And they start to come up with plans, and, like, getting the fucking, they're, like, strategizing and problem-solving, which women weren't doing at all, which is a lot relates to that episode of, uh, with the survivor on the islands where they had the men on the one island and the women on the other island. Like, people are just different. It isn't just because you notice that there's differences doesn't mean you hate the one that aren't as good at this specific thing at this point in time. Just kind of... Yeah. Like, sometimes people... Like, white people 
we don't think Asians are like bad. We think they're better than us at a lot of things. Like we don't like, aspire to be Japanese. Some of us like we're weeaboos. We look up to Asians like they're better. Just because we're not sticking them in our movies, it's because we stereotypically don't know what like their life is like. I guess like the most of our Asian characters are going to be martial arts experts because that's what we know that they're usually good at because they invented all the martial arts. And like even within black people, you have different levels. Like a lot of black people don't like the Chris Rock thing. Uh, he loves black people, but he hates whatever the N word. Uh, people of color. <laughs> he hates people of color, but he loves black people. What is people of color? Or if a person of color, if you're trying to talk about black people and you're saying person of color, then it, are Asians persons of color too, or like? Mexicans or people that are olive skinned or dark skinned like Indian people are like you can't say person of color if you're just don't want to talk about black people because people don't know what you're talking about you're not being specific enough um but but within black people you know you had your house people of color and your field people of color I don't want to say negroes I mean if you as long as you say negroes slowly if you say it too fast you're just canceled but if you say it negroes like the Spanish word that means black. It's from the Latin root negro, meaning black. All the other languages you can say it because it's just the color. It's a, that's how you say the word black. You have negroid people. You have caucasoid people, which are white people. You have mongoloid people, which are, you can't say the R word now, but that's what mongoloid used to mean. Um, but there's differences between black people, there's differences between white people. Now the thing, the people that white people um, don't like, I don't know if it's just me, but it's people like, that have boats, rich, yuppie, upper class, like, have you ever seen that show, The Outer Banks, like, all the kids, they just grew up around the marinas, they all have boats, or jet skis, they all have hot, sexy bodies, and they all wear bikinis all the time, and they're all having sex with each other, and nobody cares, like, when I was in high school, there was this kid, his dad was the sheriff, and we heard this rumor that him and another guy and, like, three other girls, or maybe it was three guys and two or two girls, they all went on at this house that was across the road from the school, and they had a big orgy party, and they had sex. None of them got in trouble. I'm pretty sure the teachers probably found out about it, but I don't think they did anything, because he's the sheriff's son, and he's privileged, and he's probably wealthier than everybody else and he's rich and he's connected and you just can't fuck with him it's like that 13 reasons why movie or tv series and there's that one character that's the quarterback on the football team and he's constantly raping chicks and he's getting his dick out in front of everybody in the whole school like half the school has probably seen his dick like i was thinking the other day like people that do porn like if you're a dude in one of these pornos that has like all these college people around you watching you fuck it's just like this guy thinks he deserves to have his dick out around all these people like what in the fuck kind of mental problems is do you have to have where you think i deserve to have my dick out right now everyone needs to see this dick <laughs> that is some upper level privilege crazy shit right there um and i've also been listening to this new podcast it's really good it's called ninjas or butterflies and it's by this group of people that are all like really christian i didn't know that because it's actually really funny i'm not the earlier episodes are pretty cringe but like the later ones they're talking about you know and i start thinking like one of them's married and he's got a kid they're only like maybe 25 years old or something and like a lot of these christian groups they all like get together they have like these youth groups youth um what do you call them church parties and they go on trips and they all like leadership conferences and stuff and they all end up like meeting each other and getting married early and having kids so if you do that within like a, a religious framework you're having sex at an early age you're busting crazy nuts and your, your girlfriend and like everybody's just fine with it they love it because you're gonna have children and you're gonna like be you're gonna get married and it's fine but it's like Whenever I see somebody with kids, I'm like, oh, man, it's like proof that you've been busting nuts right there walking around. But like, everybody's cool with it. It's so weird and cringe to me, though. People are, like, not ashamed of their kids running around. 
It's like if I had jizz in my hair and I'm walking around like, hey, what's up? It's got a little jizz in my hair. I've been busting nuts. <laughs> That's what I see when I see people with children. I'm like, what are you doing? But like, if you're Christian, it's fine because it's privileged. It's like rich kids and, ri and Christians, they can all just bust all the nuts they want into anybody they want and show everybody their dicks. And as long as it's all closed doors and nobody talks about it in public, perfectly legal and perfectly fine. Everybody's cool with it. Uh, yeah, so that's the kind of people that I kind of, wouldn't say I despise them, but it's kind of like, I think about them the same way that, like, black people probably look up to, like, white people. Or don't look up to them, but, like, they kind of have a disdain for them. Um, so anyway, there's also this new show called American Fiction. A new a movie about a guy who's a black guy, and he writes a book. Yeah, I think he's written several books. He can't get any of them sold. Nobody wants to read them because he talks like a normal white person and it's like not ghetto. So then like he tries to make... He, he just starts talking like a black person from the streets and he pretends like he's a gangster and everybody wants to read his book all of a sudden. And that looks like it could be really good because it makes a lot of the same points I think I'm making here. That... Everybody just wants to feel like they're not racist. But everybody deep down, there's like a spectrum. It's not like a hatred towards anything, but it's like you think about different races different ways. And there's nothing wrong with that. I think we all just need to admit that there's nothing wrong with it. And racism does not equal stereotypes. That's the really the main point of this. Um... Just we all just need to talk to each other. We need to like stop this uh, censoring everybody and telling everybody to just shut up and like you can't talk if you're not a certain race. Or you can you can't have an opinion on something if you're not the thing that's being discussed. That kind of stuff is just garbage. Get it out of there. Uh, I think we wouldn't need therapists if people actually just talk to each other. Hot take. I was watching something the other day where somebody was just talking to somebody and they were having the same kind of effect that they would have if they were talking to a therapist and it was free. Oh, it was another horror movie. I've been watching all these horror movies for Halloween. Somebody went to uh, one of those church like groups for like narcotics or drunk driving or whatever. Like They found somebody in one of these groups and they were just talking to them about their problems. And it was just like, that's therapy right there. You don't need to pay a therapist if you just like, just find somebody that maybe is your same age group or has something in common with you and just make friends with them and just talk to them. People used to do that all the time. People used to like go visit each other and just like spend time in each other's houses. Imagine it. If the world was like that again, like the 60s or the 70s. Or uh, you just go to a park and just start randomly talking to strangers and meeting people. Or you had to like go to a record store or a video rental place and you'd meet people and talk with them and like form friendships. Now everything's online. Nobody can stop staring at their phone. Everybody's like, if you're in public, you're trying to prank somebody and like make a TikTok so that you'll be an influencer. It's, you're, everybody's lifting. Like they're filming each other at the gym all the time and they're just asking people dumb questions in public and trying to like do stupid shit to get famous. And it's just like, this is just a shitty world we're living in right now. Everybody needs to just start being more racist. <laughs> no. People need to start like admitting that shit is just it's not as bad as everybody thinks it is. No, that's not the point I'm trying to make. What is the point I'm trying to make? Not everybody's racist, but everybody thinks everybody is. That's what it is. They need to realize things are just how they are. People everybody people everybody's different. That's my point. Everybody's different and you gotta realize it and accept it. It's not bad. It's just part of life. You're a noob or you're a pro. That's it. That's life. 